What's up guys so it's a beautiful day today so I thought I'd get outside and give you guys a little bit of an update on my WRX so this is how she sits right now uh, I'm really pleased with it actually but I just wanted to run through some of the the mods that I've done um, and tell you guys what I like and what I don't like the CNT racing exhaust it's almost the exact same as the Nvidia Q300 titanium tips that was my first mod and one of my favorites it sounds awesome on the downshifts. Uh, it's got some nice little burbs. It, it's pretty loud through the tunnels. What I don't like about it is when I'm skiing with my friends on the weekends, the drone in the back is a little bit loud for three hour car rides, but hey, it's my car. I love it, so nothing to complain about. you guys about is the Perrin wing riser I actually just put this on uh, last weekend so it's my most recent mod and I absolutely love it so it's held on by these studs right here it lifts it off the car about an inch um, it looks awesome especially from the back it was a difficult install it took three hours the one complaint I have on that install is the screws that Subaru uses inside the wing uh, the screws that come down through the top of the wing here and you access them by opening the trunk they use really weak metal and so those things snapped on me while trying to get the bolt off uh, it made the install a lot more difficult it's all right it turned out awesome i love it so next up here we have the rally armor mud flaps this is a super common uh subaru mod they're great i mean no really performance benefits or anything other than looks but it looks great the black on black with the red lettering pretty pretty simple install a couple of hours i really like them so next up on the outside is the new stop tech rotors and pads that i just put on last weekend uh, i've got some slotted rotors and stop tech street performance pads and that made the biggest difference i mean i went from chattering uh coming off the highway to being able to lock up my wheels in a second uh, so now my brakes are better than my tires that's sh that might be my next upgrade Based on the exterior of the car is 30 percent tint all the way around the tint looks awesome you guys can see that right there um, at night it's the perfect shade 30 percent i mean it keeps the car cooler during the summer uh, it is a little dark at night but it's nothing that you can't manage uh, so I, I absolutely love the tint. A lot of people like the tint. Almost any car looks better with tint in my opinion. Especially this one. Especially it being black. If you haven't tinted your car, then put some tint on it. To the inside of the car. Alright guys. So here we are on the inside. I've got a couple of upgrades in here. Nothing crazy. Um, but one of the most important is in here, and that would be the access port. I've got the V3 access port uh, with it running a Stage 1 93 octane tune. I do not have an intake yet. That's something I need to get, but, um, but the access port, I highly recommend. This thing made a huge difference over stock. I mean, I think I gained probably 30 wheel horsepower. Uh, especially with that exhaust 3500 to 4000 just takes off from first to third gear and it still has decent uh, pickup on the highway in fourth and fifth so i highly recommend that access port it's a little bit expensive takes 10 minutes to put in and it makes a huge difference in performance last on the inside is the short throw shifter i've got the carp boy short throw shifter with a cob knob on there uh 
the shifter and the steering wheel and the gas pedals you're touching all the time every time you're in your car it's 200 250 bucks to upgrade your shifter and your knob i highly recommend that it feels awesome i mean the throws are so much shorter it's nice and notchy so i love this shifter especially with the knob i mean it's it's awesome it it just makes the car so much better and I love driving it with that shifter, so I highly recommend getting a shifter. If I had to pick a first mod and only mod for my WRX, I think it'd have to be the access port. It just feels like a whole new car when you get that tune on there. It's much faster, it's more responsive, so I think I'd recommend the access port as a first mod. Um, the exhaust is also a great second or first option. So anything i love my car i'll be doing a in-car driving review of it soon i just wanted to give you guys a little update on what i've done to the car right now